When a project grows it is common to split the code up into different source files. When this happens the interface and implementation are generally separated. The interface is placed in the header file, which commonly has the same name as the source file with the .h extension. This header file contains forward declarations for the source file entities that need to be accessible to other files in the project. C++ requires everything to be declared before it can be used. It is not enough to simply compile the source files in the same project. For example, if a function is placed in the myfunc source file, and the program source file tries to call it, the compiler will report that it cannot find the function. To make this work the function's prototype has to be included in the program source file. This can be made more convenient if the prototype is placed in the myfunc header file, and this header is included in the program source file through the use of the include directive. This way, if any changes are made to myfunc there is no need to update the prototypes in the program source file. Furthermore, any source file that wants to use the shared code in myfunc can just include this one header. As far as the compiler is concerned, there is no difference between the header file and the source file. The distinction is only conceptual. The key idea is that the header should contain the interface of the implementation file. This may include shared constants and macros. The header can also contain prototypes of the shared functions defined in the source file. Additionally, shared classes are typically defined in the header, while their methods are implemented in the source file. The header should not include any executable statements, with two important exceptions. First, if a shared class member function or global function is declared as inline, that function must be defined in the header. Otherwise, calling the inline function from another source file will give an unresolved external error. The second exception is shared templates. Since templates are not compiled until they are required, the implementation of a shared class or function template must be in the header file, together with its declaration. An important thing to bear in mind when using header files, is that a code entity may only be defined once in every source file. Consequently, including the same header file more than once will most likely result in errors. To avoid this problem of multiple definitions, a couple of preprocessor directives can be used to create a so-called include guard. An include guard is created by enclosing the start of the header in an if not defined section that checks for a macro specific to that header file. Only when the macro is not defined is the file included. The macro is also defined, which effectively prevents the file from being included again.